Hey everybody, it's Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane. I have a really cool math game for you that I learned a bunch of years ago when I taught third grade. Um, it's called Crypto, and this is a game that um, is a lot of fun, and you can play this by yourself or you can play it with a friend. Um, in this game, um, you're going to do some addition and subtraction and multiplication and division, so this is really a game for someone who knows how to do all those things. Ready? Here are the rules. The first rule is you're going to choose five numbers between zero and nine, and you may not repeat numbers. So that means you're gonna pick five numbers, and you use each one once. Okay, I'll show you how that goes. Choose a target number between 10 and 30, okay? You're gonna use as many of the five numbers to reach the target number as you can, okay? You may not use a number more than once in the same equation, okay? So if you use a number once, you can't use it again in the same equation. You can add, subtract, multiply, or divide, and then you figure out your score. Here's how we go. Okay, so here's how you figure out the score. We'll get right back to that. So let's pick our five numbers. So I'm gonna set this up on the computer. Of course, you can do this on paper too. So let's pick zero, two, three, six, and eight. Those are my five numbers that I'm gonna use in this game today, okay? And let's have a target number. Remember, the target number has to be between 10 and 30. Today, I'm going to pick 24. Okay, um, here's how we're going to do this now. I'm going to try to figure out ways to get 24 using these five numbers. And I'm not going to repeat them. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see. 3 times 8 equals 24, right? 3 times 8 is 24. So I just got some points there. We'll do the score after. Um, I could say 8 times 3, but that's really the same thing, so I'm not going to do that. So let's see. I'm going to say uh, 3 times 8 plus 0 is 24. Same thing, right? Okay, let's see. What else can I do? I know. 6 times 8, that's 48, divided by, so there's a fancy way to make divided, a division sign on the computer here, divided by 2 equals 24. That's another way. Um, trying to use as many of these numbers as I can. If I said, I know, 6 divided by 2, that's 3, times 8 equals 24. Okay, so let's, let's add up some scores here. So when you figure out your score, um, what you do is you, 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 get num you get points for how many numbers you use, because if you use two numbers, that's worth 300 points. If you use three numbers, it's worth 500 points. If you use four numbers, that's worth 700 points. And if you use all five numbers, that's worth 1,000 points. Pretty cool, right? And you get points for how many of these operations you use. That means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Okay. So if you use one operation, you get 300 points. If you use two operations, you get 500 points. If you use three, you get 700. If you use all four, you get 1,000 points for that. So this first one, three times eight... Well, I use two numbers, so that's 300 points. And then I used one operation because I only multiplied, right? So that's 300 points. So that means that this crypto was worth 600 points. Okay? Here I used three numbers, a three, an eight, and a zero. So for that, I got 500 points. And I used two operations because I multiplied and I added. So that's another 500 points. So that crypto was worth a thousand points. You see what I'm doing? This next one was the same thing. I used three numbers. That should be a plus sign. I used three numbers, so that's 500 points. And then two operations is 500 points. That's a thousand points. This one was the same thing. Three operations, uh, three numbers. 
plus two operations equals that many points. Wait a minute, I had an idea. Watch this. Six divided by three times eight. Six divided by three, that's two. No, six divided by two is what I wanted. Six divided by two, that's three, times eight is 24, minus zero equals 24. I just added the zero, and look what happens. Now I used four numbers, so that's 700 points. And I used three operations, that's 700 points. So that crypto is now 1,400 points. Isn't that cool? And I keep going. So like you can see the most that you get on a crypto if you use all five numbers, that's a thousand, and four operations, that's a thousand. You can get two thousand points on one equation. Isn't that cool? So, um, but that can feel kind of hard. Also, if I did this, if I said, um, three uh, times six, that's eighteen. Mm, I don't know, but if I had one that had three numbers like this, this is not going to be right, but let's pretend this worked out. Um, let's pretend that got me my target number. That's three numbers, but it's only one operation. Okay, so that would be 500 plus 300, that'd be 800 points. Okay, so if you repeat an operation, you're allowed to repeat it, but it only counts as using it once. Okay, so at the end, what I do is I take all these numbers and I figure out my final score. So I've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and I'm adding up my thousands first because I can do that in my head. So I've got four of those, and I've got a 400 and 600. That's another 1,000. So I just got 5,000 points. That's my score for this game of crypto here. So I'm going to write that here. On the bottom, I got 5,000 points. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so um, so why don't you try this game out? Um, maybe you could teach it to someone in your house or a friend. And, um, you know, mathematicians have uh, looked at this game, really like math scientists have looked at this game, and they figured out that pretty much any five numbers you come up with and any target number, you'll always be able to find at least one answer. So if you can't find anything, look harder, okay? All right, try that, have some fun, and I'll see you next time.